Hello everyone, here's a question from percentage. The question is, Radha earns 22% of her investment. If she earns Rs. 187, then how much did she invest? So Radha earns 22% of her investment. So whatever amount she's investing, from there she's earning 22%. And the 22% amount is 187. Okay, so if I frame it, it will gonna look like 22 percentage of the investment is equal to rupees 187 and we don't know how much he has invested that's what we have to find out here so this investment since it's unknown to us we're going to assume a variable here let us take the variable a so we're going to form an equation and then we're going to solve it so 22 percent of a is equal to 187 so we're going to get a linear equation kind and then we have to find the value of that uh, variable Okay, so let us assume that uh, we have to assume the variable. So let amount invested be equal to a. Okay, now if we have in uh, assume that amount invested is equal to a, then it will be twenty two percentage of a will be equal to rupees one eighty seven. Now open it. So 22 percentage means percentage means per cent, right? Cent means hundred. So it is 22 out of hundred. Or simply, whenever you have a percentage sign, you see remove the percentage sign and then divide by hundred. Now off means multiplication. So in place of off, you put multiplication sign. We have a, and then this is equal to rupees 187. Now we have to find out the value of a. So I am going to transpose this 22 upon 100 to the other side. Now see this 22 is in multiplication and 100 is in division here. So if there was a plus or minus sign I would have transposed a whole thing to the other side. But since it's multiplication is there here I have to transpose like to get like I can do it in a one step or you can do it in separate step. I am going to show you in two different steps here. First I am going to transpose 100 and second I am going to transpose 22. You can do this in a one step if you want to. So 22 multiplied by A is equal to, now 100 is in division and transpose this to the other side, it comes in multiplication. It will be rupees 187 multiplied by 100. Now 22 is in multiplication, when you transpose it gonna comes in division. So A is equal to rupees 187 multiplied by 100 divided by 22. Now here I can cancel 187 and 22 directly in 22 table um, or you can divide with some other like you can cancel this in the lower like uh, small numbers and you can do it okay let me just cancel this in uh, two table I'll, I'm gonna start with smaller number two table so two elevens are 22 uh, but we cannot cancel 187 we're gonna get the answer in the decimal because it's odd number so let us first divide this 22 and 187. We're going to get the answer in decimal only because 187 is odd number. So 22, uh, let us take a 4 here. So 88 will get, it's still small. So let us take here a bigger number like 7. So 7 to the 14. And then we have 7 to the 14 plus 1, 15. So we got 154. Let us take 22 8s. So 8 to the 16. 8 to the 16 plus 1 is 17. So 176. This number is closer here. So I'll take 7s. 170. Sorry, 22 8s. Is 176. So subtract it. We'll get 11. And 11 is the remainder here. And we got 8. So put decimal point and take a 0. So 22. Let us take a, again 22. We have tried with 7. We have tried with 8. So we have to take less than 7. Let us take 5 here. So 22. 5 is a. 5 to the 10. And we again we have a 2 here. 5 to the 10 plus 1. 11. So we got 11, 110 here. So 22. 5 is a. 110. So we got the remainder 0. So we got 8.5 here. So we have to multiply this with 100 again. Okay. So this is equal to rupees 8.5. We have cancelled 22 and 187. We got 8.5, right? And there's a we have to multiply this again with 100. Or you can cancel 22 and 100 and then you can cancel this with 11. You can do even do that. It's completely on you. So 8.5 into 100 when you multiply it will be 850. So rupees 850 is the answer. So total amount invested is rupees 850. 
so i hope it's clear and uh, the cancellation part you can go in on your own way if you have a different method you can go with it or else you can uh, follow this one it's completely on you so in case you have further question on percentage or any other chapter you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching